As a lot of you have probably noticed, I am old. Okay, I'm basically ancient. I'm like 17, like you can't count that on your fingers. I'm not in my prime anymore is kind of what I'm trying to say. I feel it in the morning, like my joints when I kickflip just don't make the kickflip. I was way more into like skateboarding like two years ago, so I think I kind of just knew the tricks a lot better, so I'd kind of just like do them. Today, I'm gonna find something out. I think a lot of people have wanted a video of just fingerboarding, and I'm gonna see if I can still do some tricks. So I will be honest with you guys. I kind of don't really fingerboard all that much like off camera. I know, unbelievable of me. I have all these fingerboard obstacles and I don't even use them. It's not really that I don't enjoy fingerboarding when I do it. It's more just, it's not as interesting as it was before, so therefore I just don't do it as much. Because doing tricks on a tiny skateboard is kind of cool. Do people respect it? I don't know. Do people think it's super cool? I also don't know. Is this as cool as actually skateboarding? I don't know. At the end of the day, fingerboarding is just kind of satisfying. It's like drinking a cup of coffee in the morning even though you don't like the taste. I don't drink coffee, so I have no clue what I'm talking about. Someone told me if you wanna get back into fingerboarding, you need to get a new board. This is a new board, by the way, and it actually kind of did get me into fingerboarding like a lot more. I haven't really been fingerboarding all that much in like a year, but this is probably like the most I've actually been fingerboarding because of this board. It could use some fresh grip tape, but we're gonna use it like this. I've heard a few people say, this table must be amazing for fingerboarding. It's really not. Have you looked at this table close up? This has kind of just like a bumpy texture to it and it's not really all that smooth. It also has some damage in some spots which doesn't feel all that great. I just don't really have any other surface to fingerboard on. That's good, until today. This is like a table thing that's like not a table. It's like a table without like the leg part of the table. It is very white. Look how smooth this is. The camera barely even focuses on it. This is my first time fingerboarding on this surface. Let's see if it's any good. It is kind of good. This feels like an entirely different studio. It basically is. I think the question is why have I not been doing like super big fingerboard tricks in my videos? And the honest reason is just for time. Obviously when I film, I try and do it in like the quickest way possible, but still make like the content good. So if I'm stuck trying like a single trick for like 10 minutes, that's not really that efficient. It's just a lot easier to do simple tricks. This video is dedicated to just doing tricks. So let's just do some tricks. Let's start with the basics. <laughs> Something that's kind of interesting is I definitely have gotten better at like certain tricks like kick flips and tray flips, probably because that is pretty much all I do right now. So in terms of getting like cleaner and kind of like a little bit more style with my tricks, I definitely feel like I have gotten better at that. But then for like the unique tricks, I definitely kind of forget what I used to do. I feel like the surface you fingerboard on is almost similar to having like good grip tape. Having good grip tape isn't crucial for the trick, but it just feels a lot better and you're kind of more consistent. I haven't done a heel flip in a minute. First attempt was pretty bad. Second try, it was bad, but we'll clean it up. I'm gonna try a laser flip because that is a sick trick. That was kind of close. I find it hard to only get like one rotation when you do it, but we're gonna still try. Like that was a double laser flip, which technically is harder. I think that was it. It still might've been double, but I'll count it. I'm gonna try front finger impossible. That was pretty close. That was almost like a front finger, like shove it. I keep just doing like a 360 shove it. Close enough. The worst part about that trick is I used to actually kind of be good at it. What happened to me? Where did my skills go? I'm gonna do a kick flip to tail slide and then maybe pop, shove it off. I think it's the board, to be fair. I would have gotten it by now if it was a different board. It's only the best board out there and it's just not working how it should. That was close. The ability is there. It's just a matter of how long it takes. That one would have gone. I landed like this and then the rail just moved a tiny bit so it didn't really stay on. I'm getting more creative with the excuses so like we just need to do it now. I love how kickflip to like board slide is so easy but then when you try and do it on the tail it just takes forever. How 
is this the trick that's taking so long? Next up, Nolly tricks. When have you guys seen me Nolly before? Nolly kickflip. There we go. I'm gonna try Nolly tray flip. I haven't done those in like a while. That was technically it, but that was not clean. Always so steezed when you just land like this for no reason. Nolly impossible. It's easy when this finger can just like kind of tuck out of the way, but this one just, it doesn't really work. I'm gonna try Nolly heel flip, may as well. That was close. The camera was kind of out of focus, but I did it like halfway. Why can't I even heel flip anymore? My fingerboarding career is going downhill as we speak. This isn't looking good. Switching it up, I'm gonna do some stuff on here. Pretty basic stuff so far, but it's feeling pretty good. After making that concrete half pipe, I've actually been doing like a lot more kind of like quarter pipe tricks. They're kind of just different from flat ground stuff and it's kind of fun. We need to get more creative with the tricks. I feel like that was the least creative thing after saying that. One trick I actually like completely forgot about is like a very old kick flip, but then you land like switch. I forget the name of it, but we're gonna try it. I used to do this trick like all the time and it's kind of easy. There we go. That trick looks so sick. Even though burial cave flips are one of the easiest tricks, I've never really been that great at them. I did it first try, so I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, it makes sense. It's an easy trick, but I just never do them. I remember this one trick where you kind of go into an impossible and then let a rail kind of like flick the board back down. Kind of like that. I'm gonna see if I can get it kind of clean. Maybe I can kick flip into it. That was kind of it. It kind of doesn't look cool unless you do it like from an impossible. There we go. Not the coolest trick, but it's kind of fun. It still feels like I'm forgetting like a lot of tricks, but I feel like kind of the overall fingerboard control I have has gotten like kind of better over the years. The control is definitely better, but I feel like I just forget a lot of the tricks I used to do. There is one where you do a kick flip, kind of like a kick flip and a half, and then kind of go into an impossible. Similar to that. That was like a front finger impossible. This is probably like the easiest trick anyone could do, but it looks kind of cool. Kind of like just a super clean kickflip, except for it's just super easy. This turns the studio into a whole new environment. It's actually kind of good to fingerboard on because like it's not too grippy, but there, there's more grip than just like this table. I know this video is kind of short, but I think we got it back. I think we're back in the prime. I'm not even saying this just so you guys like the video, but if I say smash that like button, the like button actually lights up and does something. Go back and see if when I say that, if the like button actually does light up. And if that did work, you should probably like the video. It's a sign from YouTube. It basically lights up. You pretty much have to. But yeah, also go ahead and drop some comments down below because I actually read every single one of them. It's like, it's basically an addiction at this point. But yeah, a lot of you guys actually have like super sick ideas and I can't really make all of the ideas, but we can make some. I'm gonna start fingerboarding more and get the skills back, but that's pretty much it for this video. And I will see you guys all next time.